Hey guys, I'm going to ask, answer Steph's question quickly uh, on how to embed a video on demand, a Vimeo on demand video on your own personal website. Would you be able to do a video explaining how to link your Vimeo to a personal website? So it's really easy to do. Go to your Vimeo page, your sales page, click this button, share. And here's the embed code that will post it, that you can post to your website. If you want to change some of the options, for some reason, if you want it to automatically start playing, you can click this. If you want it to loop so that when the trailer finishes, it starts, you can press that. If you want to change the settings, you want to change the colors, things like that. You can do this here and you can do it in the settings for the main video itself as well. But all you're going to do is grab this code. Oh, so click all this and copy it. Copy that code, right? Go to your website. So mine's pnuk.com. And then create a new page or a new post. Uh, depending if it's a sales page, you want to be a bit more static, then create a, a sales page. Uh, if you want to do like a blog post with it in, you might want to do that. But let's just go new page and then do um, Vimeo video sales page, right? So well, however you're setting your website up, I'm presuming it's a WordPress website, but if it's... Um, Squarespace or it's a teachable or it's anything now you're gonna look for the code block you want to add and you just put in here HTML you can see it's already there HTML custom HTML so whatever website you're doing it on you're looking to add a little bit of code and anything that says add a HTML co code block we're gonna paste in the code and publish it publish away we're gonna to go to the page and now we have that video in the sales page and the trailer. Hey guys, this is Paul. This is the trailer for my up and coming video that you can now purchase here on Vimeo. And this is what you're going to get. So now you get the trailer plays and you get the box that pops up to uh, buy the video. Obviously, then you can edit your um, page, your website, however you want to do it. If you are like me and you use something like seed pro so if say i wanted that on my home page at the top um i use uh seed pod seed prod seed prod i like it <laughs> i can't remember what it's called and again i'm gonna add a box this is where it's a bit funkier but if you've got a page builder like this say i want to add it here i want to add a box uh, uh html again custom html i'm gonna drop it right there and I'm going to add the code. Oh, you might want to tinker with the code depending on where you're going to add it. So if I want to put it right on here, there's a full space here. Come on, come down. Da, da, da. You can. Oh, no, they're, they're right there. Uh, advanced spacing. You've got to tinker. You have to tinker with with your settings for your page, but there it is now on the main page. So it's it's whatever whatever you're looking to post it, you're looking for custom uh, HTML settings. And within the Vimeo video, you can also go to uh, the video itself. So go to your videos. If I go to search for that, demand video the main video I can also edit the main video settings so uh, the embed settings here if I don't want the play bar on there I can obviously turn it off if I want a, a volume control if I want speed controls you can really you know you can turn the full screen settings off so you don't want people to pop it out uh, you want some like buttons you want a share button added watch later you want to add your profile picture and the title of the video at the top and the byline if there is one. Change the color in. Maybe you want to make it darker or brighter. Change the logo if you've multi-branded. Upload a logo for that one. Save. Grab the embed code up here. Oh. Grab the embed code. So you've changed these settings. Now you can go back to uh, create a new post or edit a post or whatever you want to put it. 
you can put it. Uh, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna go back and change it as a page because it won't show up on my blog then. So new page. Uh, testing embed add HTML paste it in publish publish view the page and now the settings may put something like this and it's actually good that this has done it this way because when you do it via the video itself settings you can then click here to update the settings right so it doesn't play so you might have this because if there's a privacy setting on the video, you need to unlock it. And by doing that, you need to go here. Look, privacy settings, I don't have. In fact, I don't need some of these anymore. Blue jeans, even though these don't even exist anymore. I need to add the domain where I'm going to embed it. So if you do get a privacy warning, you need to come to your video, privacy, and enter the domain name that it's going to be allowed to use on. Add it and save it. Oh, changes saved I think it should work pretty much and there you go now you've got rid of that privacy uh, warning so you need to go to your privacy settings and make sure that the domain you've embedded it on Sonny come here Sonny Sonny sorry my dog's just gonna start by barking Sonny come here make sure that the specific domain is or you can change the settings to anywhere and save it. And then, so if you've got asked somebody else to sell it on their site, you either put their website in, or you can say it can be shared anywhere. Uh, and then they've still got to pay, right? Because when they go here, watch now. This is the main event video. So upload your full feature, full whatever video it is, teaching lesson, uh, movie, whatever it is, upload that in this, and it'll, it will, um, it will, testing embed. They said edit your main event and do it. Uh, yeah, there you go. What has happened is I've paid for it in a test. So it's main event for, and when they've purchased it. This for, is for me, I can actually watch it. But now I've gone to another browser where I'm not logged in. On that same page, I was like, "That ah, why is it not showing the trailer? The trailer and then the purchase information is now there. It's because on my account, I'm logged into Vimeo. I've already bought that video as a test, so it's letting me watch it. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, got a bit scatty at the end, but any questions like you've done there, added, ask in the comments. Come to my website, pnuk.com. There's a place here with a Q&A. You can ask your questions. The washing machine is just about to take off, sorry. You can ask a question and I will answer them the best I can. Hope that helps. Good luck with your videos. See you soon.